Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're going to cover 4.5, Preventing Extinction. It starts on page 60 in your textbook. So this is a very hopeful uh, chapter because we are going to talk about what humans can do to prevent animals from disappearing off the planet. So let's talk about that. First of all, what animals are we talking about? Well, we're talking about, for instance, the river dolphin and the Indian rhinoceros. And remember the oryx from section 4.1? And then there's the Bengal tiger and many different birds in New Zealand, for instance. And these are some examples that we are going to discuss as we discover ways that humans prevent extinction of animals. So there's a couple of different things that humans do. Well, first of all, like I said, many, many animals seem to disappear off the planet, cannot be found anymore. And one of the examples, of course, is the river dolphin here in China. In China, in the Yangtze River, these dolphins used to swim around. Now, you may think that dolphins only swim around in the oceans and the seas, but this particular species lives in rivers, but not anymore. It's very hard to find a dolphin like this one in any of the rivers in China. It's almost gone. It, and that this is because they died out. In other words, they have become extinct. This is a very important word for you to remember, therefore. To extinct means to die out. Well, what could be the reason? The reason is pollution of the habitats of these animals. And it's not just the river dolphin. Humans pollute their environment a lot, and many animals cannot handle that. And they cannot find food, because the food chains get disrupted, and the habitats get destroyed, and the animals then die out. So, one of the things that humans do to help animals um, not die out is to provide what we call sanctuaries. Now, sanctuaries are special places in areas, for instance certain types of habitats, that humans are not allowed to go anymore. It's a very safe place for the animals to stay. So this is the first important word of this slide and you may want to grab your notebook right now and pause this video because there's going to be a couple of different words you need to know. So pause the video, get a notebook if you haven't done so already, and let's talk about these words. So the first word we're going to talk about is conservation. Conservation means saving animals from extinction. And one of the ways you can save animals from extinction is wildlife sanctuaries. Those are special areas where animals can be protected. And of course this is not cheap. It costs a lot of money to maintain such a huge area, such a sanctuary and to get guards to protect the animals so that hunters cannot kill them anymore. And so all these wildlife sanctuaries get lots of money from charities and charities Hududula. So for instance, here's the example of the rhinoceros in India. That animal almost died out. And luckily some people in India made tiny Indian sanctuaries. They're very small areas, actually. They're not really very huge, but they're enough for the rhinoceros to stay safe. And so they can be protected and saved from extinction. So wildlife sanctuaries is one of the solutions to prevent extinction. Let's talk about another solution and another example. Now, here is the Bengal tiger. A Bengal tiger also lives in India. And with him, people found another way to save this animal from extinction. So here's the situation with the tiger. Remember the rhinoceros over there, they have very small sanctuaries and that's enough for the rhinoceros, but it's not enough for the Bengal tiger because the Bengal tiger needs large habitat. It's a predator. It needs to hunt and roam the areas. So a large habitat is needed. And so what they do is they save the entire habitat it's almost like a, a very, very big sanctuary, but it's much bigger than the one that the rhinoceros needs. So what does this do? It doesn't just help 
the Bengal tigers and all other large predators, but it also saves all the other animals that live in the habitat and all the plants that live in that habitat. So overall, you protect not just one type of animal, but a whole ecosystem, the whole food chain, and that is wonderful. So a person that works in those large habitats is called a conservationist. And usually they work with local people because the local people otherwise would simply hunt these animals and now if you can help the local people to get better jobs they don't have to hunt the animals anymore. So what is a third way to prevent extinction? Well a third way to prevent extinction of animals such as these lovely birds from uh, New Zealand is to remove the predators that hunt and eat those animals. Now remember in 4.3 we talked about invasive animals. Invasive animals are animals that do not really belong to a habitat, but they have been introduced into that habitat. And because those invasive animals don't have any enemies, nobody hunts them, they can just go ahead and spread out and become hundreds and thousands. And then the animals that they eat will become extinct. So what we need to do is remove those predators. So we remove them, for instance, if those are rats, invasive rats, we remove them by rat killer. And of course, you might think that's a bit cruel, but then again, if we don't kill the rats, then all the almost extinct species will die out, and the rats didn't really belong in that particular habitat in the first place. So we can uh, remove the predators, but if that is not really possible, we can also do something else. We can take the very rare prey animals, just like these birds, and move them to another area where there are no predators. And that way we don't have to kill the predators, but we can still save the rare species. So that's a good solution. So the rare species are then able to survive. Okay, the fourth way to prevent extinction is what we call captive breeding. And we already talked about the oryx in 4.1, that he has really adapted to his habitat. Go back to 4.1 if you want to remember that. Okay, so what's going on with the oryx? Now, unfortunately, the oryx is also an animal that becomes very rare. It's almost lost. It's almost extinct. And basically, the only times that we can find an oryx is most of the time in the zoos and not really anymore in the wild. So we can make sure that these oryxes make babies in those zoos and then later set them out in the wild. So those things are called captive breeding programs. You breed the animals in zoos and later set them out in the wild. And so we prevent the species to become extinct. Okay, so that was the last example of how to prevent extinction. Go back to all four of them and see if you can still remember. Here's a worksheet for you to do. This is part of your assignment. It's worksheet 4.5.1. It's called Endangered. And then when you're done with that, you do the questions in the textbook, page 61, questions 1 till 4, and you write down the answers in a Word document and you upload it into Magister. And also you have to do the questions in your workbook on page 30, assignments 1 till 4, also make a photo and upload it into Magister. That's it for today, guys. Good luck with preparing for your test and we'll talk later. Bye, have a nice day.